So, welcome to my latest video diary, which is a bit more of a serious video diary this time. I'm just gonna like, uh, I'm just I'm gonna do a, this, do an occasional vlog on a few things I've learned from being at university. So, I've learned how to be able to write using the Python pro programming language without well, actually knowing any Python, because I have found this uh, well. I've been introduced to this site called, well, there's a, a device called a micro, BBC Microbit. And this BBC Microbit, uh, you can uh, put wires into it and make turn it into a little robot. You can do a lot of, lot of things with it. And also, you can also program it uh, with, like, little little uh, little programs. And to do that, you use this Microsoft Make Code Editor. You open up this uh, Microsoft Make Code Editor. And it's very simple. You use these blocks here to... to to tell it to tell it to do stuff, but all these blocks, like they they all actually also correspond to Python programming language uh, tools. So on start, set score, forever, if, and so you can actually build up build up a program without using without knowing any Python at all. Well, so here we are. I've just built up a progr program. This is basically a dice roll program. Dice roll. Every time I press A, it rolls the dice and it adds on to the score. And then press B and it tells you the score. I've got a, I've I've told it to pick a random number. I've got a variable there. I've got a I've got I'm I'm, I'm showing the uh, showing a string. I've got a bo boolean function in there as well. Now if I click over here and click on Python, it just translated everything I've done there. All that, which I use just using those blocks, and it's transferred them all into Python language for me. For me, and I haven't even done it. I had to do anything. And so by doing that, I can actually, I've actually learned. Can help me learn to do with Python, learn learn what uh, the Python language better. So the death defined on forever. That means it's always on. When there's two, these two brackets there, with nothing in between them. That means there's no parameters on it, which means it, uh, whatever you whatever you then whatever you then follow will, can can exist everywhere. Global dice roll. If input, it means if you input. So it, if this input, which is a button, if the button the button in, the button is pressed, that's if that's the input. Button A, it's got to specify which button. Then and that's pressed. Then dice roll. Ran random number indicate integer random integer between one and six. And then it will show string. Basic show string. That means it was going to show what the dice roll was. Game, add 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 score to the game. Dice roll. Else if the input button is pre the, the button is pressed is B. Show string, and then that's the game game score. Basic forever on forever. That is cla that is classic Python language, and I haven't had to write a single thing. Back in the day, uh, if you had made a slight error, could be a typo. If you'd done that instead of that, you could spend hours working out what why it's not working. Oh my god, what have I got? Why have I got all these errors? You don't have to have any errors. Because because it's all done on blocks and it transfers it back over into blocks. So if I make it, if I make an error here, oh, just go go to blocks. There you go. And that's a classic Python language. That you can take that a lot further. I'm going to show you how how you can take it a lot further if you would like to see. First, I'm going to save this. Let's get in. 
start making a snakes and ladders game, which I couldn't do during my assignment, but I can do it now. All of this code. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm working on it. I've got a function. I've got a variable. I've got random numbers. All you do doing this. Boolean functions. Button A, button B, button B. Two people taking turns. Index. Values. It's I've st I haven't written all the snakes and the ladders yet. And I did it all using these blocks here. Didn't have to write a single bit of Python. I checked some of it back on the Python, but I probably didn't have to. If I click, click over that, and it's translated it all into Python language for me. That really helps to understand how, how Python works. And it helped to avoid all this, all this tiny errors, syntax errors, and stuff like that, which can be a real fucking pain in the ass. And so, uh, helps to understand. Oh, so that's a child of that. So that's so that's dependent, conditional on that. Oh, two brackets go, go together. That means oh, that means there's no parameters there. Ah, perfect. Define global. These are all classic Python terms. This is all Python language, and you don't have to write a single word of Python. Anyway, I hope that helps some people out there.